In these series of tutorials, we're going to go through creating a HTML game that is to be run on a mobile device. And so this one's called Float Up. We're going to play it now. Okay, so um, basically a balloon is moving up through the clouds and things are falling down and you have to knock things out of the way. You might have seen this on the App Store. It's quite a popular App Store. So I'm just clicking around, controlling this ball. And I'm just moving things, knocking things. Oh, there we go. And so it's going to um, move through the game, head back to the start screen. It's going to record a high score. So we're going to get into this now. We're going to be using something called construct.net. Okay, so we're going to start from, from fresh. So if you go to construct.net, so this takes you through to the website that um, allows you to uh, register. So you're going to be registering on this site. So you're going to make sure that you set up a username, password, and use your school email address. Uh, do not forget these. Okay, so I suggest using your school username and make sure it's a password that you're going to easily remember. Um, you don't want to lose your, you don't want to forget your details after putting loads of work in uh, to have to start again from scratch okay so uh you have as a uh, as your teacher you have um you have permission to register for this website and uh, you don't need to be kept up to date with spam from construct uh, or the official blog but you do need to agree to the terms and conditions okay so register for a new account um you're going to be you're going to go through that and uh, you don't want to click try it now without uh, registering okay so um, if you if you run it as a guest it won't necessarily save all your work in the correct place it's best to just be able to log back in and um, find your details okay so i'm just going to log in and um, so i'm going to launch the editor so depending on if it's the first time you've launched this it might take a little bit longer and so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating a new project now we're going to be saving this in the cloud so that's something you just need to bear in mind so although now we're going to launch a new project in future every time you come back you're going to head to the cloud and you're going to be opening the files you've used uh, you've saved in the cloud storage in your OneDrive. anyway so for starting we're going to use new project. So click on new project. Uh, this is going to be called uh, Rise Up. No, we won't do that because that's the original game. Uh, uh, float Up. And we're going to choose the preset of a um, SD portrait 9 by 16. So we've got a, um, a portrait. Uh, 480 by 854 this is a low resolution phone that's fine it will scale up and it will look fine so we create so i kind of gave the the game away there we're creating a kind of rise up game this is the game you might have seen so this is where you'll get some ideas if you download this game to your phone uh, you'll get some ideas of the kind of patterns you can create with the shapes uh, we're going to keep it simple to start with we're just going to go with squares and rectangles but there will be additional sprites additional shapes in the file that you can use to um, to to uh, create some different patterns okay so we've created a new um, project so uh, before we get stuck into kind of laying laying graphics out we're gonna we're gonna kind of configure some basic things so on the right hand side here we have this project panel this project panel shows you your layouts uh, event sheets your event sheets are where your code goes and then we've got a few other folders here that are going to contain things like uh, sprites which um, anytime you see a graphic in a game we refer to that as a sprite so we're going to find those sprites here we're going to add a sound of the balloon popping um, so th yeah these are the kind of th this is the project panel where you find all of the objects that you're going to be using in your game uh, beneath that we have a uh, layout so we've got some layers in our layout sorry <clears throat> below that we've got layers tab so the layers tab is uh, where we have all our layers we're only going to have two layers we're using the free version of construct we don't want to pay for it at the moment so we're going to use the free version of construct 
And so that only allows us uh, two layers, but that's absolutely fine for this game. Um, now, just bear in mind, if you happen to close any of these, so I've just closed a tab there, that tab was the layers tab. So if you need to get that back, you can click to the menu, click on view and bars, and you can see that here, here are the, the different um, bars that we can, uh, toolbars that we can get back. And I've just closed the last bar and that's why there's no tick there. So I'm going to click that. Here it is. And I can drag that back down here and we can just lay that out here. Okay. In fact, we'll drag that down into there. Okay. So you can just switch between them. Okay, so we've got our layers tab, we've got our project tab. On the left hand side, this is the layer, this is the tab that we're going to be using the most. This is the properties. Uh, so anything you click on in this uh, editor, it has properties. So whether I'm clicking on a layout or whether I'm going to, when I, when I have some sprites, if I click on a sprite, I will have different properties relating to each thing I click on. So just bear that in mind. Every time you click on something over here in the project or on your layout, which is, this is your layout where all your graphics are going to go. Anytime you click on anything, the properties will show up differently and you're going to be changing them here. So I've just clicked on the project, the main project, uh, the root of it. And you can see the properties of this project. We have the name float up. It's version one. We can add a description. We don't have to do that at the moment. So we've got some various details here. We're going to change something in a minute here, um, but we'll, we'll leave that till later. But just bear in mind, this is uh, the properties for anything we click. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're going to start adding graphics and that will begin in the next video.